Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer. We truly do. We don't want to just say that. We believe in the power of prayer because praying is true in the living God of the universe who hears the prayers. He hears every one of your prayers and will answer them all in his own perfect timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. It is truly always perfect. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ. Right on this true and active living word of God, which brings a free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that, it also is the best gift of all we can ever receive, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in his presence, presence when you die. Friends, praise God for the free gift of salvation. Praise God for eternal life, friends. Do you believe that we have eternal life of God? I believe that we do. Do you believe God is good as well? He's good, and he's always good. Amen? This is why we can do this in these videos. This is why we lie, because he's good. He's good. I'm going to talk about more of his goodness this year. Friends, I hope you are blessed by every one of these videos that we do every day. And I pray if, and if you need to be blessed even more, or just need more encouragement, don't hesitate to reach out to one of us. We would love to just talk to you. We are here for you. We are for you. We're not against you. So never hesitate to shoot us a message or reach or send us an email. We are here for you. We're truly, we are truly here for you. Um, yeah, uh, these videos, I pray that would, that they would be a big encouragement to you. If you uh, can't sleep at night, if you're struggling with worry, with doubt, with fear, I pray these videos would meet you where you are every day. And that you would know that you are loved. By us, but by, most importantly by God, by Jesus, who's near to the brokenhearted. I pray, that's my prayer for you today. Amen? Amen. Today we're going to be talking about how the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Um, we've read this passage before. I want to read it again. So if you have your Bibles, would you please open us to that passage? We're going to be in Psalm 24, verse 1, I believe. Yeah, verse 1. <laughs> Yeah, Psalm 24, verse 1. I love the book of Psalms. It just speaks about so many different situations. So if you have your Bibles, please open them up. Follow along as well. Or turn on your Bibles and follow along as well. And as you flip into the passage, let me open this up in a brief word of prayer and then we'll begin. Let's pray, friends. Let's come before our Heavenly Father who meets us where we are. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for who you are, Lord. We come before you now, Lord. We ask that you would meet us. Um, here, Lord, we we want to acknowledge that you that you are with us, Lord, and that you hear us and you meet us where we are, God. So we ask that you would meet us right now, Lord. Speak to us about it, now about this passage, God. We want to learn something from you today. So help us, Lord. Amen. You guys ready? So it says the earth. Psalm twenty-four, verse one. It says the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all who live in it. Come on, friends. What does this mean? Can we reread this one more time? And as we reread this a second time, I pray that we would, I pray that we would meditate on this passage and ask God that He would speak to us about what this means to us. Let's reread re it again one more time. It says the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all who live in it. Come on, friends. What does this mean? How does this set out? It says the earth. Who, who lives in the earth? I know I live in the earth. What about you? I think we all live in the earth if we are alive and breathing. We all do. That means anywhere. You name a state. That's the earth. The earth is what? The Lord's. What is the earth? The earth is the Lord's. This earth that me and you are living in right now, it is the Lord's. What does it go to say next? And everything in it. Everything in it. Your cars, your houses, your workplaces, your phones, everything in it. Everything. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world. The world around you. And all who live in it. Including you. Including me. Including people to come. Including my brothers. Including my parents. Including your pastor, and all who live in it. What's my encouragement for you? What, what's this verse talking about? This verse is talking about. This verse is talking about, friends. This earth, 
that God has blessed us with, this life, is God's. It's God's. Why? Because God is good and he chose to bless us with this earth. So what's my encouragement for you today? My encouragement, two my encouragements is this. That one, that we would realize that this earth is not ours and the things in it is not ours. And we are now own. We belong to God and this earth belongs to God. This earth is, is the Lord's. My second prayer is that we would live in a way that we would focus on that we wouldn't get so attached to the, the earth because knowing that the earth is the Lord's. So often I think, I, I'll use myself in an example, but so often I, I get, get so attached to this earth. But friends, this earth is not mine. This earth is the Lord's. That puts everything in this perspective. So that's my encouragement for you today, that you would live centered on heaven, centered on things above, not on material things that will fade away. This earth will fade away. One day, things will be made right. Everything wrong will be made right. To friends, I want to move into the next opportunity to receive a gift. Because this topic might be hard for some people who have straight away from God or have never came to God before. We always do this call after the, at the end of every video because we believe that this is the most important decision that one can ever make with life or that one has ever made with life. So we want to move into that opportunity right now. So if you would like to recommit your life to Christ today or want to come back to Him, this is your opportunity to. The floor is yours. You don't know if you're going to get tomorrow. So why wait? Why wait? You don't know if you're going to get tomorrow. If, do you want to be assured of your salvation? Then here's your opportunity. Please repeat these words from the sounds of your own heart, wherever you're at. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you, Lord. Will you please come into my life, Lord? God, I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have. Father God, I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you and accept you as my Savior. Amen. If you just prayed this prayer today for the first time, if it's a weak community life to, to Christ today, Scripture says, heaven rejoices with you when one walks in the family of God or when one walks back in. And we rejoice along with you. Even though the team is not here, we still do rejoice with you. We rejoice when one walks in the family of God or when one walks back in because this is truly the most important decision. So we've been praying for this moment as well because this is the most important decision that one can ever make with a life or that one has in the middle of life. Everyone has to make this decision at some point or everyone has made it or or some, either some people have made this decision at some point, or someone is about to. And I know everyone who's on our team is fully devoted to Christ. They love Christ. And let me just be. Let me just say this straight up and straightforward. We are not perfect. Don't look to. Don't look at the Chicago Prayer and Hope team as a perfect team. We are not perfect. I'm not perfect. The team is not perfect. No one is perfect. Even your pastor is not perfect. But I'll just speak for the Chicago Prayer and Hope team. We are not perfect. But God uses broken people to share hope into people's lives. So we want to share hope into your life as well. This is why we do this channel. Because we believe people need hope. We believe someone watching will, will be touched by it. Or we believe that someone watching will have not made this decision to receive Christ and will make it at the end of the video. So, if you just made this decision today for the first time with us and we committed life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to one of our team members. Even if you just want to talk to one of our team members, still let me know if you want to let me know. Then if you want to still talk to someone else and about other personal things, that's fine. But <laughs> even if you don't want to talk to me at all, you don't need to. But but I encourage you to reach out to me or reach out to someone. Um, but still, <laughs> I would love to hear as well. Truly, I would, I would love to hear. Um, because we rejoice, you know. There's power in rejoicing. Rejoicing is happiness and it's joy. Because it's rejoicing. So we want to um, encourage you to reach out to someone. Even if you don't reach out to us. 
reach out to either a pastor or a mentor or a friend, someone they can trust, someone who's a Christian already, that you can talk to, that you can like say, hey, guess what, I made this decision today. Um, and yeah, if you guys, uh, we don't want to mock you at all, we don't want to press you, all we just want to do is walk alongside you, be praying for you, then give you next steps and next pieces to take. And it's very important decision. Well, can we, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? I don't know what the time is because I can't really see the camera. It's about 10.27, sorry guys. Um, sorry that I ran over time a little bit. I think this was an important topic to talk about. But, um, yeah, allow me to bless you before I send you all on your way. Would you put your hands up to receive the blessing of Jesus? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may I never forget that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. So do not forget that. Friends, let's not forget this. We think it's ours, but it's not ours. Our home, the temporary, one day will be with God forever. That day is coming. Hold to it. Hold to the hope. That's in the Bible. Amen? Amen. If you guys were encouraged by this topic, as they always do, I truly, if you guys feel like you guys were encouraged, you guys feel like someone else needs to be touched by this topic, I encourage you to click on that share button and share this hope with someone, share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life at home, never hesitate to reach out to me or to reach out to one of our team members. We would love to truly be praying for you. I'd love to just talk to you if there's any questions you have. And until next time, Keep Christ number one and have a blessed, blessed day. Much love. Have a great day.